getting stuff rejected by the network is probably one of the biggest no-nos. Like nobody wants to see that email from from their client saying, this, "Hey, Rich, this show has been rejected. Can you take a look at it? We need to figure this out and get it back to them right away because it's going to air tomorrow or something like that." My name is Rich Cutler. I'm the uh, audio mixer, sound designer, a re-recording mixer here at uh, Blue Table Post in Boreham Hill, Brooklyn. When you're doing stuff, particularly for long form for television, it's critical that you have accurate metering so that you know you're spitting out a show at the correct, the correct levels. It's not just, you know, put a limiter across things and make sure you don't go above minus 10 anymore. The tools I find most useful in the Clarity M uh, would be the the loudness meter, the, the true peak, the uh, the radar, it quickly gives you an overall view of either a section or your whole show of, you know, where your levels have been. There's no, uh, it's not connecting, you know, via digital audio, which means it's one, one less potential point of failure to have problems with the meter not reading properly. I also love the fact that because the meter is external to the machine, if there's an issue with the machine, all of whatever readings have been using up to that point are still in the box. And so if, the, if my Pro Tools crashes or I have to close and open a session, it's still in the meter uh, and I don't have to lose time going back to re-meter sections of a show. The True Peak figures are, a, a lot of the networks are putting out a spec that your True Peak can't exceed whatever, whatever their spec is. So having that there is very helpful because you're able to make sure that you're not, that you're in spec. I use the radar meter to get a very quick general overview of my overall loudness. I mean, let's face it, the loudness is measured. Loudness is taking an average from whenever you start the, you know, the beginning of the show to the end of the show, it's looking at it and it's reading the overall, it's reading it and it's taking an average. And basic math dictates that, you know, if you want to be at minus 24 and everything is between minus 23 and minus 25, you're going to be in spec. You know, and, and it shows you, oh, well, this one section was minus 18 or this one section was minus 30 or something. Um, it gives you, so you can quickly go to that area and have an idea of, you know, if it's a problem or if it's fine or, or what have you.